This is Feringa, named after the Nobel Prize winner Ben Feringa. It will be home to the Faculty of Science and Engineering here in Groningen, with an area of 64,000 square meters, lab tables of 3 kilometers, and enough room for 2,250 students and staff. This building is going to be a game changer, not only for the University of Groningen, but for the entire educational system here in the Netherlands. And we were given an opportunity to have a first look at it. the video we'd like to thank Eddie the project manager that helped us with the tour also don't forget to like and subscribe with that being said let's get back to the video we start the building at that side okay. with building F we're going to building A building okay. A again uh, only be built if the existing building is demolished the first part that you, they will use is the first four buildings okay. a little bit the fifth one but mostly the four, yeah, first four. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So we start with uh, part F. How long are the five stories divided? The, the five stories, the, the, the front side is the, the general uh, hallway. Then you go every time into a, a building. Then on the mostly on the on the left side. There are the laboratories. Okay. On the right side, there are study rooms or offices or something. Kind of each building has between each building there's an area, the green area. Yeah, three green areas green and area. one, one closed. Uh, this space is is open, yeah, and and above the auditorium there's a, 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 a roof on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we're gonna chill after the lectures, after the exams. We're gonna come here. It's gonna be nice and landscaped. And it's gonna be a nice place where two students can relax. Uh, over there, uh, where, the, where the trunk is standing, there will be the entrance, the okay. head entrance. Then behind it, there will be a, a, a stair to the, the first floor above okay. the auditorium. So oh, there yeah. you have a great space with a coffee corner where you can okay. uh, can drink and, and uh, together. A lot, oh, yeah. a lot of uh, activities will be held there. Okay. What you, what you see here, that, that's our special uh, foundation or microscopes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So each so one of these is for one microscope? One, one microscope. Wow. Yeah. So it's a concrete base? Yeah, and, and then there will be wood above it, the complete construction. Yeah. That's incredible. This yeah. is just for one microscope, this entire structure. You will never think that there is so much work behind the, yeah. behind the microscope. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the base? Yeah. It's like a... Uh, building a stadium now. Yeah. So it's gonna in this auditorium it's gonna be 420 seats. Yeah. And uh, I saw that it, 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 you 420 seats, but it can be divided in two different parts. Yeah, correct. Here in between there will be a, 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 a mobile wall. Okay. So and, uh, and uh, then you can split uh, this this area into parts. Okay. It's about sustainability and how this building is approaching. Sustainability. Yeah. We already spoke about the labs being positioned in a way that optimizes the energy consumption. I saw that they're going to install a lot of solar panels. Yeah. Of so, what, what else can we expect for the study? Now, you will uh, come uh, uh, shortly to the uh, BKO room. Okay. Uh, uh, this uh, building is complete gas free. Okay. So, it's uh, uh, the, 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 the warmth is coming. Out of the earth. Uh, what you see here is the, the basis of uh, the, one of the clean rooms. Here will be uh, built a complete clean, clean room in it. Okay. Underneath is a, a cell where the installation or part of the installation of the clean room. Is so they will be, will be building here a box in a box. In a box. Okay, so guys, really big thank you to the Faculty of Science and Engineering for allowing us to do this tour. So it's the first time that students come here and make a video out of it. So we really have been honored yeah. to, to be here for yeah. the time. As much open building right. uh, as, as 
most light into into the building. So right. that's that's looking open mm -hmm. and natural. Mm -hmm. So uh, and you know the old building. It's very it's really <laughs> dark well. and here it's very open and light. When you are standing on the floor, you can look through yes. all the buildings. Something you notice is that the every floor it it has windows higher. Yeah, yeah, and also the off the offices there will be glass walls, not complete uh, walls which are uh, closed. So you can see all through mm -hmm. uh, through the building. Are we in the fourth floor? Yes. No, the third. Yeah, fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. These are gonna be the areas dedicated to the labs. Yeah. So we're gonna have um, the chemistry and physics labs. And okay. uh, so for the labs, any any information you can give us about how the labs are are gonna be designed, how they're gonna be different compared to the old labs. Uh, labs are all different design them before the, the purpose they, they need. Okay. The, the furniture will come from a third party. It's uh, engineers as that you can change the lab uh, frequently. Of okay. course, all the, the installation what you now see mm -hmm. will also will be in the end visible. You can it's, you it's can do it. You can reach all the all the installation parts. And, it's uh, more customizable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So guys, if you are planning to move in uh, to here in Koningen and study at RUG. Our faculty of science and engineering, this will be a really big improvement and it's a really nice area to be in and uh, everything is thought for, for, for the students and for the researcher that are going to be here. And everything is designed in a way that makes you feel good in this, in this area. Yeah, it's going to be a really big improvement compared to, to the old building in Nuremberg. What do you think? I think that my money is being well spent. Money is being well spent. <laughs> so here we are in the last floor. This is the technical room, and what, what happens here? This is, this is the complete installation for the whole building. So you see here the LBKs, as they call it, for okay. filtering the air, clean air, warming the air, that, that kind of stuff. In the end, 23 of these uh, big right. boxes. Which also, you see all the, the ducts uh -huh. for, for the air, different air. Yeah, there yes. are two special air. Uh, machines for uh, laboratories and right. the rest is all for heating and, and uh, fresh air. Here you see uh, the generator. When the electrical goes down, this keeps, this is down. The, this keeps it up. Yeah. And there are two of them. So. Okay, so we, we're, we're safe here. Yeah. Uh, watch out here. It's a big hole. This is dilatation. We don't want to fall here. Yeah. Why is this separate? So why is it's, it's because of the earthquake resistance. Okay. So, uh, they make mm. dilatation between every building, right. so that the building can move. Uh, can shake a bit shake, yeah. and absorb, so that's the absorb the, the horizontal uh, movement. We are standing on the, on the roof of building uh, D. Parking spot for the uh, building maintenance unit. Yes. We will park here and can ride along the buildings to clean the windows and do some maintenance work on the, on the car side. Oh, well, that's really cool. So this is made of what the roof? Yeah. It's a steel construction with uh, foil, uh, foil construction, right. in it. and there's the air uh, in it now. So it's blown up. Okay. So and there, in between, there are two layers. They can um, uh, press air into it. Then they are, are separate. Uh -huh. Then the sun comes through, uh -huh. and then when it, the air is taken out, they come up up each other with a print. Okay. And then it will be sh uh, the, the roof will be shaded. Okay. What is the cost of the entire project? Uh, the entire project is uh, 250 million. Yeah. 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 Right. Maybe a little bit more. That's amazing. Insane. Okay. So main part is of, the, of this green area is going to be maintained, and of course they're going to do some paths, uh, some bike, some bike lines to uh, connect the buildings a bit faster. Um, uh, we can see from the building that we have this panel here with this design and we were panel has a code you said. Yeah, that's and correct. The, the, the architect had, has made a complete drawing mm -hmm. of all the facades with the, 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 the different kind of colors. Yes. With the, and okay. we coded everything so that they are on the right spot. Of so course there's, there's a plan. Fishing plan behind it. Okay. Here will be a different uh, college, I think, so it's completely different, right. uh, organized. Than so here is where we're going to have our tutorials, where we're going to be able to study. Yes. Yes, uh, they are taking the, the warmth of the earth out uh -huh. and bring it here, uh -huh. and then go to uh, an installation and 
the building will be heated. Okay. Summer, it's going uh, the other way around. Then uh, they are pulling, pulling down the the, uh, the building and they bring the warmth into the ground so they can use it for the winter in the winter. So here is the entrance of the, of the building, the res where this reception desk probably will be. And under, underneath, there is the auditorium. The auditorium wall. Yeah, the, the round wall is the auditorium wall. Right. This is going to be the place where students like me are going to be stressed to park the bike because they know they are late and how to go inside. Yeah. When you're very late and you go in here, you can drive, right? Ah, you just walk here with your bike inside the lecture hall. So this is really good for students that are always late like me. So <laughs> you just pack your bike and you're in the auditorium. This wraps up the video. We hope you enjoyed it. We would once again like to thank the project manager, Eddie, and the faculty of science and engineering for making this video possible. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when a new video gets uploaded. With that being said, I hope to see you guys next time. If you come here to Rogue with this building, you're going to pass every exam.